Hi, my name is Jamila, owner of A Special Place Wigs, and I wanted to do a video to talk about the 10 most frequently asked questions that we get here at A Special Place regarding our services and regarding our wigs, and particularly when it comes to hair loss. Uh, originally, I had planned to make one video and go over all 10 questions, but as I began putting it together, I realized that some of these questions, uh, they weren't just going to be a one or two sentence answer, and really we're going to take a little time to explain so that you can understand the answer. Uh, so because I didn't want to have a really, really long video, I'm actually going to break these up uh, and do one question at a time and do a series of videos to answer the top 10 most frequently asked questions about wigs from a special place. So I'm going to start with one question we get asked uh, quite frequently when people call is when should I come in to be fitted for a wig? We especially hear this with our chemotherapy patients. Uh, if they're going to be losing their hair, they may want to know, should I come in before I lose my hair or should I wait until it's all gone? But we also hear this question with other people, sometimes our topper clients who want a topper want to know, uh, sometimes I get my hair cut and colored, so should I come in before or after I do that? Or, or maybe somebody who is experiencing another type of hair loss and they're thinking about maybe shaving their head, should they come in before or after they do that? So we'll talk a little bit about our process and how you can know the best time to come in. So when you come in, what we like to do is take measurements so that we can get the exact size. Uh, so some people, if they have a lot of hair and maybe they're preparing to go through chemo or they're preparing uh, to shave their head, they may be concerned that if they uh, don't come in, if they don't wait until their hair falls out, they're not going to be able to tell how the wig fits. That's true to an extent. When we try the wigs on, if you have a lot of hair, you're not going to be able to see exactly how the wig fits. But that's where our expertise comes in. When we take those measurements, we're actually able to determine what size wig you want. Uh, with a lot of hair or very curly hair, we might need to braid your hair down and contain it in a wig cap uh, so that we can try the wigs on. And you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit to realize that without that hair, the wig is going to sit down in its proper place uh, and it's not going to be quite so poofy. Uh, but that's why you're working with an expert who can help you uh, determine the right size wig even if you still have hair. The reason we recommend coming in before you lose your hair is it really helps us to look at your style and to look at your color and to get you the best match possible. Um, but what if you have waited until your hair came out? We can still work with that, especially if you can bring us some photographs either of yourself and how you used to wear your hair or if uh, you maybe even have some magazine clippings or some people use Pinterest uh, and they pin pictures of um, styles or colors they like. All of that can help us if you've already lost your hair. The same thing if you're thinking about shaving your head, maybe if you have alopecia or another hair loss situation and you've decided just to uh, get rid of your hair and go with a wig. Um, if you can come in before you do that, again, that's best because we can have it visualized and we can have the wig ready in time. That's the other thing to keep in mind is if we have to order something, it can take a week to two weeks to get it in. So especially for you chemo patients, uh, unless you want to have to wait a while without hair, if you can come in before you lose your hair, we can go ahead and have that wig ready for you so the minute you need it, you have it ready here for you. Um, if you are looking at toppers, this is another thing that comes up. Uh, many times we cut and we color our hair and we have a thin spot and we're thinking about getting a topper to fill it in. Uh, the best time to come in, if you're really happy with the way you have your hair cut and styled, then go ahead and keep your appointment at your salon, get your hair cut and colored, and then come see us so that we can blend the topper in with that particular style and color. Um, that way, it, you can have the match that you want to have. If you come in and your hair has faded a lot and the roots have grown out and we can't see what color you usually do, then it's harder to match. And that's another concern some people have is, well, you know, first my hair's darker when I first have it done and then it lightens up and then I go back and I have it done. So is my topper going to match through all those stages of hair growth? And that's the cool thing about a topper is they're made with blends of color. Uh, so they're actually designed, and because they're going to be covering the root area of your hair, uh, if we can match you up to that, whatever your favorite color is, if it's right after you get it done, or maybe you like it better a week or two after you get it done, come in and see us with the color you want to match. 
and we will blend it in with that. But then because it has that variety of colors in it, even as your own hair goes through its processes of fading out and then being recolored, you'll have a topper that will take you through that entire time period. So that's our recommendation as to when to make your appointment to come in to be fit with a wig or a topper. Please check back with us to see some of our other most frequently asked questions. Thanks and have a great day.